All right. So, as I was saying, so just just if they fly, let's suppose they flew, right? If they flew, if if they flew, right? I'll say, as a regular civilian, this is how much? Only for 180 people. And I'm staying the norm. I'm assuming it's only 180 people. However, it is more than 180 people that went to Paris for this so-called summit. So that money is 64. Just I'm just trying to be very real right here. Trying to be a little bit more like pragmatic, a little bit more kind of professional things, right? So you got over 64 million CFA. With 64 million CFA, you can build a lot of wells, wells in Africa. It doesn't need to be pump wells, understand that. It does not need to be pump well. It can be natural well as the Mosai commander our forefather. When you hire a couple of brothers, a couple of people, they dig the ground and you call the mess on the camps and they lay the bricks and they cover the well and they put, they call the, the one that work, the bar, the mirror, the river and they're gonna come and set up something and you can install the pulley, right? And you need the pulley and what well, the cord and then you can draw the water. And that, listen, if you spend too much, let me suppose, if you spend too much per well, maybe two hundred dollars. If it's too much, some because some area, right? In some area, the, the 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 land is so hard, or the water might be on on a level super deep where they gotta dig more. But imagine how much. Thing they can do with this much money now we're only talking just about what the air ticket we ain't talking about the food where are they going to stay at a hotel at a hotel imagine that so these people they don't stay in a cheap hotel where do they stay heavy hotel so let's put already we got 64 million cfa let's leave that alone okay 180 many more they were there for at least two to three days Let's suppose what three they were there for three days. Let's suppose. Because we know some of them they'll spend more than that. Let's suppose they were there for only three days. We put it for three days. Okay, one night, one night minimum. These people, let even suppose that, you know, they go to the to the cheapest hotel. Let's suppose, let's put it like that. Where they got maybe it's hundred dollars per night. Hundred or hundred hundred euro per night. So three nights is three hundred euro right there, right? Three nights, three hundred euro. So we're gonna do three hundred euro times one hundred and eighty, right? Time 180. I'm trying to be realistic right here now. Okay, so already just that alone is 54,000 euros. Okay, right? I'm on live. I'm on live. All right. Okay. So, Selakia, so like right? So imagine. Imagine this. Imagine, okay? You see the, the amount? This is 54,000 euro just for three nights for only 180 people. And we know it's more than that. Without including the drink, the champagne, the food, all those stuff, okay? Maybe they need a car from anywhere, all right? So they need to rent a car from the airport to the hotel, all this. Listen, I'm not including none of those things. I just want to stay on the surface. Just to expose the weakness that's going on with our people. That's why we don't follow politics. That's why we expose them. Because they don't care about the people. It's, look at how much is this. Just for the hotel. The cheapest hotel. I only put it for $100 per night. And I know these politicians, they don't stay in a cheap hotel. They went to VIP, luxury. That's what they do. So let's see how much is that in CFA again. So we already got 64000 Let's multiply this. This time, 600 dollar look again look how much is that again another thirty two thousand four hundred thirty two million is thirty two million four hundred thousand cfa so without including the driver whoever is going to drive them the delegate the people going to meet them over there the man listen it's too much so you see the weakness that they do they take this money when you add this plus 64 64 million right plus 64 million hola hermana tiene un minuto por la palabra de dios tiene un minuto eh mira sabe lo que dice la palabra 
Cristo dice, el hombre no vive solamente del pan. Para, right? Pero de cada uno palabra que saque del boca de Dios. Porque mira, si es la voluntad de Dios, el Señor puede quitar usted el trabajo. ¿Sabe que el Señor puede? Ahorita nosotros hablando, hay gente que, es que muere, ¿sí? Right? Que murió ahorita nosotros hablando. So, Esa es una oportunidad. Pero chequeando, yo tiene YouTube. Usted puede como, suscribirse en, en mi YouTube. Nosotros enseño en inglés, francés y español. So, chequeamos. Porque eso importa. Nosotros vivimos en el último tiempo. Eso es muy, 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 muy importante. Ok. Nosotros vivimos en el último tiempo. Chequeando. Y, y, y en el papel hay una mujer. Esa es una colombiana. Ella habla español. Si ustedes quieren aprender. Eso importa. Eso en español. Mira. La información está allá. YouTube. Ok, YouTube, sitio web, todo, y la mujer, su nombre es el Naomi, esa es parte, nosotros viven esta, esa es más que trabajo, más que comida, chequeado. Ok. So, that's what they do. So, they took all those money, and went and wasted, where? they went and wasted all those money, where? In Paris. In Paris. How can you solve a problem, and you don't address the problem in your house? Then you gotta go to somebody. Somebody the problem is, does not concern. Hola, señor. Señor, tiene un minuto para la palabra de Dios. Okay, our president of the Moza. Señor, tiene un minuto para la palabra de Dios. Hey, nobody has time for the Moza. Our president beyond the Moza. Nobody has time for the Moza. That's true. You see the spirit? Latino ain't got no time for the Moza. Latino busy trabajo, trabajo. Trabajando dinero, trabajando dinero, tortilla pupusa, tortilla pupusa, quesadilla, todo día. That's it. That's how they know. They don't know anything. Come your shala, man. They don't know anything. Blind. Just for the food, food and money. That's why they're worried about 24-7. Hey, that's what they said. These people don't know the law, bro. How can you say you know the most side? And you see the brother ask you, do you have a minute for the bonsai? And they're like, no, I gotta go, I gotta go. Hey, you go all you want, man. We are not here to save everybody. We're here for the elect. One person that listens is already enough. We don't care about the multitude. The multitude, we are dealing with the multitude. The multitude, we are dealing with God. One person that repent, that listen, that's all we need. We don't need the multitude. Because if it was the case, guess what? The Mosa will save everybody. You go now? No. Oh, something fly yeah. over you? Yeah. You be a bro. That, that joint over there, he left already. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to address this weakness, man. This weakness are people, man. So that took hundreds, hundreds of euro. And when it wasted again, where? In Europe. A continent supposedly is already rich, right? So why would that go there anyway in the first place? Why would they go there anyway in the first place? Why? Why? Right. Shalom, shalom. Why would they go there anyway? If there is problem in my house, I got to solve the problem in my house. I don't have to bring it to my neighbor house. No. Why would I? Be? If you got a dirty, a dirty cloth, where do you wash the clothing? You wash the dirty cloth in, in your house. Do you take it to your neighbor? You don't take it to your neighbor. If you take it to your neighbor, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's abominable. It's disgusting. That's why you so-called Negro in Africa, you don't understand. This wicked and cool Negro in Africa, they don't understand. They took the poor people money. The poor people money, the money of the population, and went and wasted. Guess what? How come they don't have these so-called Africans, if they're really about caring about Africa, how come they don't tell these people, you know what, we're going to help you build your big airport, you have your own airplane, so your people can fly and travel easily. How come they don't do stuff like that? How come they don't push for, for that? How come they can come together and say, you know what, let us help them. You know, like last week or two weeks ago, guess what? I think uh, there is this company, I think it's a United, I think it's a United, United Airline, I think United Airlines or one of these airline companies from America, guess what? They start flying from here straight flight to, to Ghana. They start doing straight flight from here to Ghana. How come 
they cannot finance all these so-called African countries. How come they don't give them after we give them the gold? After our forefathers give them the gold, right? The dallium, the onyx, the diamond, the oil, the cotton, the sugar cane, after they took our forefathers as a slave. These people, do they really love us? Do they really care about us? Does Esau literally care about the so-called black, Latino, and native Indian? Do they really? So how come can they come together and say, you know what? You guys, we're going to help you out. We want you guys to come together. You're going to get a nice airport. We're going to get you like 10 airplanes. And we, you're going to do the maintenance. We're going to found you. You're going to get like 10 airplanes, big airplanes for the flight. You're going to start with 10. You take good care of it. You can increase it. Look, Turkey. A small Turkey you see right there in Turkey. Turkey all over, listen, Turkey all over 100 airplanes. Turkey alone. And Turkey is not part of the European Union. Turkey is not part of the European Union. Because they don't want Turkey to be part of the European Union. Because they look at Turkey, you know, as like, uh, I'll say, it's like a, a country that will pose a threat to the, to the European Union thing that they do. But guess what? When you fly, you go to Turkey, just look on what? On the ground, the airport. Look at the airport. Turkey got hundreds of airplanes, one country. And you got this wicked Negro from Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal, Togo, uh, Senegal, Cameroon. What did they do? They can't even come together to buy air, airplane together and, and build up. They can't even unite. And guess what? All of a sudden, they want to vaccinate the whole Africa. As if the vaccine is going to save the so-called blacks, Latino and Latino, from the trouble that they go through every day. The evil that we go through every day. The evil that we go through every day. Is it the vaccine that's going to save us? It's not Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shia Mashiach. It's not him that died. His blood is above and beyond the vaccine. The blood of Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shia Mashiach, is above and beyond the vaccine. It's the blood of Yahweh Shia Mashiach that's going to give you life. That's what's going to redeem you. Understand that. And we want the politician to understand. Whether it be here in Europe, whether it be there in America, whether it be there in Africa, whatsoever you are, understand what is going to save the children of Israel. The people of the Mosai is the law, the statute, the judgment, and the commandment. The law are not done away with it. Or you keep the commandment, or you're going to get destroyed. If you don't keep the commandment, why so-called black people being look up or down? Why do they say we illegals? We ain't got no paper. I was just reading a news like two days ago yesterday, a sister from the Caribbean. She's a singer or something. She's illegal. They say she's illegal. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. They say she's been in the country past her, you know, you know, when you fly, when you come here, right? Sometimes they give you is a visa for yeah. three years or two years. Yeah. So I, I think when I read oh, the article, God. they were saying that the sister, she's supposed to leave a year ago and she stayed in the country. So she was arrested by the immigration mm. two days ago. Why was the sister arrested? Because we don't want life. We don't want to keep the command. What is going to save the so-called blacks, Latino and native Indian, scattered throughout the focus of this earth? Is what the law of the Messiah. Who is who? Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the one that the whole world called ignorantly Jesus Christ, naively Jesus Christ. Yahweh Shah Mashiach, his blood. That's the vaccine that we need. The vaccine that every so called black, Latino, and Native you need to be saved, to be healed, is the blood of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, which he poured on the tree. When he died because of your weakness, because of your sin, because of my sins. Because of my iniquity, the iniquity of our forefathers. And you dare believe a lie. You dare believe a deception. What's going on, man? Why are we suffering? And there's no answer. The politician can't answer. The mainstream media, they don't have answer. Without bring a couple of coons onto CNN News. They'll bring a couple of coons onto CBS News. And this coon comes over there, bunch of lie, weakness. No righteousness. They don't glorify the Most. They don't glorify the Mosai. They don't give glory unto the Mosai Yahweh. 
They only glorify, they only glory who Satan and the man, the slave master, the conquistador. Come on, man. Enough is enough of this deception. When are you going to wake up and keep the law, the commandment of the Most High? When are you going to wake up, ye so-called blacks, Latino and Native Indian? When? When are you going to wake up and fear the Most High? When are you going to do it? When are you going to wake up and fear the Most High? Keep the commandment. When are you going to do it? Is it tomorrow? Is it after tomorrow? Unbelievable. So imagine that. So you can't say you, you try to help Africa. Meanwhile, you take the people. Normally, if these people really care about Africa, what are they supposed to do? They're supposed to do what? They're supposed to host the meeting where in Africa. But since Africa is looked at as a trash, as a continent where there is no life, there's nothing good in Africa, Africa is only good to go over there to get prostitutes, right? Africa is only good, according to East on the other nation, go over there, you take oil, you get gas, you get cotton, you get slave, you get a, a gold, you get diamond. That's the only thing Africa is good for. You go over there, you can kill the animal, you can go hunt for a giraffe, you can kill the white lion. Africa is only good for that. Except for that, there's nothing good that comes from Africa. That's the belief of the Western world. I've seen it, man. I've lived in the Western world for a while now, and we've seen it. The belief of the Western world. Now, we do understand there's some hidden, some idomai that have been to Africa, and they realize that, you know what? There's more life in Africa. There's more nature in Africa. There's more righteousness in Africa than in the Western world, than in overseas. Then we understand. But we're talking as in a general. The way they show Africa on the mainstream media, on the TV, Africa is a bad place. Africa is good for nothing. That's what they push for. That's what they push for. You got young kids, they're talking down on Africa. No understanding, I guess what? Well. Africa retain more value than a lot of these Western countries. And most of the things that they have in the museum, in the museum, you go to all these places, the Louvre, where do they take it from? They took most of those things from where? Africa. But today, Africa ain't got no value. So understand, man. Understand, it's a shame. It's a such disgusting. Sometimes, like, I want to break into tears. Why? Because you see the oppression every day the lies and they continue to push for the same deception how can you say you're trying to help a house and you don't go in a house to deal with the issue of the house but you tell the house to leave the house and come to your house how do you solve issue like that that's already divided supposedly what is supposed to be it's supposed to be what them traveling from europe from europe america and flying to Africa. Anyway, when they fly to Africa, guess what? Which airplane do they use? They use their own airplane. Anyway, that money is still go back into their own people. Because we don't own no airplane. The French president, Macron, or the chief of the IMF, do you think they're going to fly aboard uh, 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 Ethiopian airline? They won't know. Do you think they're going to fly aboard uh, uh, Egyptian airline? They will know. Why? Because they don't value those airlines. The least thing, if they don't have no airplane, they're going to fly above all. Lufthansa. Right? They're going to fly around British airlines. They're going to fly in war. I'll say Air France. Right? And the list goes on and on. Understand that. So you can't say that you trying to help the country and at the same time, the continent, and at the same time, you you telling the people of the continent to go waste a lot of money in your country. How does it work? Maybe it's me, I'm not thinking. You can't say you're trying to help the people. Then at the same time, you're taking the food from the people. How do you do that? How does it work? Maybe we are not smart. Maybe we don't have common sense. Maybe they don't understand more.
Because, bro, what I'm saying is like, let's say they want to help your house. Let's suppose you got issue in your house, right? If I want to help you, am I not supposed to go over to your house to help you, right? Then I'm telling you, no. You and your family, your children, you need to come over to my house. Yeah. How can that happen? The time you travel, spend all this gas, all these things, is already what you, I'm still making you more poor. Why? Because you don't have already enough money. Yeah. And the little one you got, instead of 70, for me going over you to help you out, I'm still yeah. telling you, come over to my house. So I got to travel with Imagine that. It's unacceptable, man. It's deception, weakness. We're just gonna put out there. Right? Let's go right here. We're gonna read it. Let's read it. Because I understand this, man. This is the book of Lamentation, chapter 4 and verse 19. It said, Our persecutor are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. Who? Esau Edom, the Ishmaelite. He said, They pursue us, they pursue us upon the mountain. They lay way for us in the wilderness. This is heavy, man. Lamentation 4 19. Hosea chapter 8 and verses 1 through 4. Hosea chapter 8 verses 1 through 4. Let's read it. Because the book of Hosea, if you don't know, is dealing mainly with northern kingdom, being given to all fornication and idolatry as they continue to do until this very last day. So let's go to it. We're going to bring it out. Let's go to Hosea chapter 8, 1 through 4. This is the book of Hosea chapter 8. Let's read it. Hosea chapter 8, 1 through 4. Weakness, man. Israel, our people are blind. We don't know what's going on. You feeling better? Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not. I'm not. Drunk. It's just a, like, a son. You're tired. I'm tired. All right. It's the, it's the that I, I got you. This is a book of Hosea, chapter 8, and verses 1 through 4. Send the trumpet to thy mouth. Which trumpet is the most I talking about? This is the trumpet, man. Let me show you what is the trumpet. Because some of you might be thinking about war. It's talking about you, you getting uh, uh, the shaft. No, this is the, the trumpet right here. This is the trumpet of the Mosai. You see that? That's the trumpet of the Mosai. This is the trumpet of the Mosai. The Holy Bible. The Holy Bible is the trumpet of the Mosai. The Holy Bible. Okay, so keep in mind. So it says, set the trumpet to thy mouth. So we got to put the word into our mouth. We got to study. This is the book of Hosea. Chapter 8 and verses 1. Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle. Who? Esau Edom. The conquistador. The so-called French. The German. The British. The Spaniard. Right? And the list goes on and on and on. The American. He said, well, he shall come. is a nation. As an eagle. That's why Esau, they were, they called themselves what? The eagle, America, the 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 beast of the power of America is the eagle. Russia, Germany, the the old French, uh, the old France of Napoleon, ancient Spain, ancient Italy, they all used to have what the eagle as what the power. So keep in mind, he said, because they have transgressed. Let me read it slowly. I'm going to read it nicely. Hola. Como está? Hermana, tiene un minuto por la palabra de Dios. Sí, yo leo la Biblia. Huh? Sí, I'm reading. You're reading? Hey, listen, man. I didn't ask you if you read the Bible. I asked you if you have a minute for God. That's what I asked you. Okay. I asked you because okay. you said you read the Bible, right? What did you read today? Proverbios. Huh? Proverbios. Which one? Um, <laughs> I read the. Um, what is this? Apocalypse. You read Apocalypse? This is 3 9. Let me read it, okay? Explain it to me. Apocalypse 3 and 9. What did he say? Explain it to me. About the chance that we have. A chance, a chance that we have it or give us a chance or get or go there with him. Okay, but okay. What is, so what is he so saying? I'm gonna read it to you. You say, say Apocalypse, right? Yeah. So this yeah, is the exactly. book of Revelation chapter 3. The sister says she read Revelation 3 and 9. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna read it. This is the book of Revelation chapter 3 and verses 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. So who is God talking about? God is talking to Philippines. Philippines uh, no, no, no. Who? He said he's going to make them 
of the synagogue of Satan. Who is the synagogue of Satan? You know, God is talking to um, church, uh, Philippine church, where he tell them uh, he gonna take people from synagogue from Satanas to get up. That no, 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 he didn't say that. What, yeah, what? That one, that one. No, 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 yeah. what, what? Hold on, what? I wanna explain you something. He said, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, what they, which say they are Jews, which said they are Jews, right? And are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet. No, God is not saying he's going to save them. No, he said there is a group of people, right? If you, they, they lie. They, 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 no, no, they, 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 Make that sentence. No, Are no, no. That no, 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 but what? You know who is the synagogue of Satan? Uh -huh. no, no, no. Es a una raza specific. Yes, no, es a, no, no, no. El Señor no hablando de los arabicos, no hablando de los chinos, no. Hablando de quién? Los falsos judíos. Uh -huh. Los que viven en Israel. Los que lancen la bomba a los palestinos. Uh -huh. Ellos son la sinagoga de Satan. El Señor hablando de ellos no son israelitas. Los israelitas son los llamados negros. Oh, yeah. Cristo, mira, este, este es el diablo. Por ejemplo, Cristo no es a un gringo. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, Cristo es a un negro. Pero la gente no cree. La gente, ¿eh? Nadie lo ha visto. No Nadie, so Cristo no tiene padre. Y Cristo sí, no tiene Dios. madre. Y, y, y porque usted dice, nadie le... Ya viste, porque usted dice porque nadie. Dice que somos no, 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 no dice nada de tal manera. Cristo, la descripción de Cristo en la Biblia, en el libro de Apocalipsis, capítulo 1, versículo 12 a 14, Cristo, su pie, ese como cual, bronce bruñido. Bronce, el color de bronce, ¿cuál es ese? Ese como, de, mi piel. De Apocalipsis 2, ¿qué? Apocalipsis, capítulo 1, versículo 12 a 14. Okay, la bien. descripción de Cristo. En Apocalipsis, capítulo 12, y versículo 16 a 18, lea, porque Cristo parece a los llamados negros nativos indios, no a los gringos. Los gringos son los impostores. Los gringos. ¿Cuál corazón? ¿De cuál corazón hablando usted? Usted hablando de ese corazón. El cora sí, la mayoría de los cristianos no, no sabe qué significa corazón. Basado en la Biblia, ¿cuál es el corazón? Basado en la Biblia, ¿cuál es el corazón? Basado en la Biblia, usted mete ese corazón. Este corazón no piensa, no piensa, solo que hace como se circulando sangre, ese es solo que hace. Ese corazón no piensa, ese es nosotros cabeza, el mente, ese es el corazón. El corazón emana la vida. De nuestro mente. De nuestro mente. Hermana, mira, Deuteronomio capítulo 22, versículo 5. La mujer no lleva el vestido del hombre, el pantalón. Usted no puede usar pantalón. Hey, no es atómico. No se burla de Dios, es la belleza, lo que dice la palabra, hermano. Yo amo a ustedes, ¿ok? So, ahorita es una oportunidad. La mujer no puede usar pantalón, porque es desde el año 1960 que la mujer comienza a utilizar pantalón de, de donde? De Estados Unidos y Europa, porque en el comienzo la mujer no usa pantalón. Porque de tal manera la gente hace cual fornicación, adulterio y todas esas cosas. ¿Ok? Eso importa. La mujer, Deuteronomio 22.5. Leer, por favor, el libro de Tito, 22 y versículo 5. Igualmente. ¿Ay? ¿Eso qué es, no? Ahora, muchos, aunque me digan que eso le ha dicho que no. All right, so I'm just, you know, rebuking his sister a little bit because they don't have wisdom. She's launching. I heard her say something about, I heard her say something in Spanish, but I can't remember. Huh? She said something in Spanish, but I can't understand. No, that was, she didn't understand what she said. So what she was saying, she said the synagogue of Satan, God said he's going to save them, bring them to heaven. No, the Bible didn't yeah. say that. Yeah, that's what I said, exactly, the Bible didn't say that. He, he said, I'll make them of the synagogue of Satan. We said they are Jews and are not to come and worship before their feet. Man, come on, man. If they come to worship before our feet, how can they be saved? You yeah. can't be saved. Yeah. How can you be saved? And when the scripture say you're going to go and worship before the feet of the true Jew, the real Jew, the so-called black, like the brother right here. Come on, man. 
People don't understand the Bible, man. People don't understand the Bible. Because they were taught lie, deception. And they believe in that. And they don't want to subdue the wicked learning or well, whatsoever they're learning in the, in the church. They don't want to subdue that. I used to be Christian too. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I used to be Christian too. But I believe all this lie. But when I heard the word for one time, it clicked into my mind. I'm like, woo. Then I start studying, bro. These people, they just want to continue to be what? Dead. No, you can't operate like that, man. Yeah, like there's two different kinds of Christians too. It's very sad, bro. Hey, hey Senor Prometa. It's a legend. Right? So let's prove it again. We're going to prove it, right? Bro, listen to this, though. Since you are not. He said, Set the trumpet to thy mouth. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Who? Esau Edom. So the Mosai said, Esau is going to come against the house of the Lord and the other nation. Right? Nebuchadnezzar. Okay? Nebuchadnezzar came against the house of the Mosai. Right? The king of Assyria. Salman Nasser. Salman Nasser came against who? The king, the, the house, against the house of the Lord. Okay, Nebuchadnezzar. The Greeks. Alexander the Great. And his son and his general. Didn't they come against the house of the Lord? Yes. 70 AD. Who came against the house of the Lord? He saw Edom again. The Arabs and the other nation. Over and over, it's not you under the sun. He said, because, because he'll tell you why. Why did Esau colonize Israel? Why did Esau colonize the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native? Why? Is it by coincidence? Is it by coincidence that Esau he came and colonized our forefather in West Africa, part of Central Africa? In the Caribbean, here in America, you think it's by coincidence that Esau just came and colonized the so called blacks, Latino, and Native? Let me show it to you. Let's see. He said, Because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. You see, that's what we tell you. As long as you lie in sin, you do evil, weakness, hey, the enemy is going to come. Esau is coming against you. That's what we're reading. He said, My covenant, he said, he shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord. Because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. Israel shall crown to me, my Yahweh. We know thee. So that's what they're going to start saying. Yeah, I know Jesus. I know God, God, God. Senor, Senor. Oh, Lord, Lord. Dios mio, Dios. What are they going to say? Israel shall crown to me, my Yahweh. We know thee. Israel has cast off the thing that is good. How did we do that? When we became Christian and Muslim. When we start worshipping idols. Like you see the idol in his car. When we start worshipping those stars. When we start worshipping Caesar Bogier. We start bowing down to his so idol. That's the that's where the most I see he said, you know what? I got you too. You want to do weakness? I got you. Right? That's really he said. Israel shall crown to